Hello chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. If you are new here, welcome to my kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos. Today I will be making some baked swai skinless and boneless fillets. So let's check out the ingredients. I have some garlic powder, some obe seasoning which is a very good seafood seasoning, some olive oil, some green onions and two large garlic cloves. I also have some onion, some Tony Shashir dry Creole seasoning, some lemon pepper seasoning, some onion powder, a piece of lemon. I have one bag of swai boneless and skinless filet. So this is how they look straight out of the bag. I'm only going to use three today because this is my first time using it and these filets are pretty big. The first thing I'm going to do is remove them from the packaging. I have cut my lemon and I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice over the pieces of swai fish. And I'm just going to let it sit for about a minute. Whilst the fish is soaking, I'm going to prep my vegetables. I'm finally chopping about a quarter piece of onion. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried swai fish. I'm going to do the same with my three green onions. And I'm finally chopping two large garlic cloves. Let me know in the comments below how many of you cut your garlic like I do. Now I know that I'm supposed to use a garlic press, a chopper, or even a grater, but I'm comfortable this way. So I've washed off the lemon juice off of the fish, so now I'm ready to add the dry seasoning. I'm starting off by covering the fish with some Tony Shashir. I'm also covering the fish with some lemon pepper seasoning. I'm doing the same with the garlic powder and the same with the onion powder. And for my last dry seasoning, I'm likely sprinkling some Obe seasoning. I'm repeating the same steps with the dry seasoning on the opposite side of the fish. Next, I'm mixing in the chopped vegetables and I'm going to rub it onto each piece of fish. Once I'm done, I'm going to allow it to marinate for a few minutes to infuse all the flavors. And I'm also going to preheat my oven at 400. My oven is preheated, so I'm covering the bottom of my baking dish with some olive oil. And you can use any oil of your choice. I'm placing my marinated swai fish into the baking dish. I'm 
I'm also drizzling some olive oil over the fish and I'm going to bake them for about 10 minutes until they are golden brown. One eternity later. So the fish is finally ready. Check out that golden brown color. So y'all already know that I had my taste test and it tastes so good y'all. So anyway y'all, I served my fish with some chickpea rice and I do have a video for the recipe. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.